Frankie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the table is done. Yes, sir. Done, dear. Hell yeah. Yeah, we got a mixtape out now. Mixtape out now. It's a number, Frankie, yeah, yeah. How's it, yes, feel to, how's it feel to get it done? Shit, I ain't gonna lie, man. It feel relief. Relief, really, bro. Really, man. Yeah, because it was, it was a long time working. That, and then it's like, I just felt like I took a little too long to the point where, like, I didn't want people to forget, you know what I mean? Right. So I had to, like, just come right back real quick to the point where, and it actually worked, because I noticed people are actually gravitating towards it. So, like, yeah, no, I see that. I see that. I see I did the right move there, so I guess, uh... Um, it was just that, man. Like, I had music that I was, like, I wanted to post, but I was like, nah, I feel like I need to put out a body of work. Exactly. Yeah, it's more yeah. like, yeah, because body of work is more complete. Yeah, exactly. More complete. And, yeah. it's not, and it's not, like, it's not something that I did real quick, too. It's, like, songs that I did over time that I held on to for so long. Like, there's one in there, Hear Me Out. It's, like, a year old. You know what I'm saying? Like, I checked that out, and I was like, man, I think I'm going to put that on the tape because it sounds like something that would go together. So... I looked at it and I remember I sent it to you actually. Yeah. And then uh, uh, I noticed that date and I was like, damn, this is like December seventh, I think, or something like that. That so was, was a like, year hey. ago, huh? Yeah, it was a year ago. So I said, man, I'm gonna say I'm gonna put that on there. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah. So the tape is done. So how long did it really take you to make from when you start? I guess a year ago. It took you about a year um, to complete everything. Well, you, yeah, I guess you can say that. Yeah. When I took it to the point where I knew it was gonna uh, be a body of work. Soon coming, I was like, man, it was like around maybe, cause we dropped from a cold to a diamond in May. So like maybe in September, that's when I was like, okay, September. it's time for a mixtape. You know what I'm I saying? Know, yeah. And right, you yeah. had just dropped Full Moon at midnight. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, man, he dropped his tape. So you know what I'm saying? Like it's only right. I dropped right. this whole right before the year's end. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, right, <laughs> so, this year we did a, a lot of work. Yeah, exactly, bro. And that's probably the most work I've ever done. You know what I'm saying? So, right. Me personally, definitely enjoy it and see like the process. Because I was working with you, you know, for at least one year now. At least, yeah, at least a year and now. something. Been a year so, something. like, I could see, bro, like, I could see, you know, your process and your progress and, you know, how, how it came about. And, like, just to see it from behind the scenes and then seeing the liver. It was, it was a good fit. For That's dope, bro. Appreciate yeah, that, bro. Yeah, for real. Because it, it just, like I said, it's crazy to see it from behind the scenes and just to see it come forward. It's like, wow. When bro, it's yeah, out there, it's out yeah, there. It's yeah, it's crazy because when I dropped it, that same day I, as I was dropping it, when I knew it was ready and I actually was able to play it on my phone and jam yeah. it up, I was like, this is done. <laughs> and like, what the crazy part is, dude, like... When I was making it, I got tired of the songs. So I was like, man, all right, this time happens. Like, switch the song, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when I dropped it, I was like, finally, you know, like I can jam this yeah, shit. Yeah, like yeah. now I can go in the whip, plug it up, and boom, it's jamming. Like you're not working on it, you're just jamming it's it. Done. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I can hear it. I mean, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, there's a couple of things I need to fix on there that I feel like I could have fixed a little better. But it's a little tweaks, but I mean, other than that, I mean, it's free, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. It's no, free. No, I, bro, and, you, you did good. And you know what I'm saying? Good. I did the best I could do. And I, the crazy part is, I, I finished it literally the same day as the same day that I finished it. I had to finish exactly, everything. Exactly, yeah. So, it's because being a perfectionist is literally, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a perfectionist, you do really good music. And at the same time, you keep a lot of good music to yourself. Because yeah. you always yeah. want to have, like, we'll make sure it's best, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I completely understand that. That's good though, man. Yeah. So where where would you say that you've been? You know, I think we talked about this before, but who inspired you in making this tape, or even like just when you were younger, yeah. kind of what has made Frankie Ar who is right now? Yeah. So the whole point of this get to know me tape was really when uh well at first I didn't know what I was gonna call it, and I didn't really know what I was gonna make it feel like. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, man, it's gonna be a tape that I'm just gonna throw together, but. I told myself to, there was like a maybe like mid November maybe around around Thanksgiving time I was like man I need to get back to my roots to where back then when I used to ride in my brother's car I was hearing pop you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I'm hearing real shit right you know what I'm saying like I understand that I used auto tune on there but I didn't want it I felt like that kind of 
made songs a little more simpler to me. Right, right, right. So I said, man, let me go back to where things were really, uh, really raw, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I went back and I did that and I listened to Pac, you know what I mean, for a good month or two. Jamming. And, I, and that's when I was like, okay, so this is what we're gonna actually, you know what I'm saying, make it feel like, right. make, it, make it not feel like Pac, but make it feel like a story, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's when I was like, okay. Like some hip hop, like Yeah, like something rap that's like, you can, if you listen to it, you, you, you know what I'm saying? If people listen to it closely, they'll get references and they'll see certain, they'll hear certain things that'll, Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Not really remind them of what we're in the time that we're in right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, Cause like, like on Merry Go Round, for example, uh, you know, uh, I used to jam SPM back when I was a kid, and I had an iPod back like, when it was like this. Sure. Same mm -hmm. I used to jam SPM, and it's like, that shit was dope to me too, you know what I'm saying? Cause he made his beats, all that. So it's like, a bunch of uh, really pioneers, you know what I'm saying? That, So props on that tape for real. So Appreciate let's talk that. about um beat making and and what's what's up next. Twenty nineteen, you just dropped a project. Now you got you 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 know what I'm saying you make hella good beats, bro. You got fire. <laughs> so yeah, I know you cooking something up there. What you got for twenty nineteen? Lately, man, twenty nineteen. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm trying to link. Trying to link up. Trying to link up with a bunch of people, bunch of artists. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get out of my comfort zone. That's what Facts. I'm trying to do. Facts. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, lately, um, I've been thinking, man, I'm thinking about making more beats and not just using for myself, but you know what I'm saying? Show people that I got two different things that I can, you know what I'm saying, showcase, like producing. Yeah. And if I'm not known for producing, then I'm going to be known for my lyrics. And if I'm known for my lyrics, then I want to be known for my, my producing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And I do the most pretty well as long as I take my time on it. Dedicate myself to it, so that's what's, that's what's next, man. A lot of beats, a lot of beats, um, a lot of a lot of new music. For sure, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, I'm I'm thinking of dropping an album and maybe around May again. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you down, you know what I'm saying, have a couple more albums to drop. Hey, hey, you One, know I'm down. A year, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. Matter of fact, we already really got some stuff cooking that we put together. We could, we could give him something nice. So sure. definitely, definitely, I'm definitely trying to work. But this 2019, I, I really see you growing, bro, straight up from, like, somebody that's seen your music and as a friend as well. Like, I've seen you the last quarter of the year evolve and really, you know what I'm saying, put in word to deliver it. That was a good move. So definitely super proud of you on that note, bro. Um, that, that, that's, that, was, that was really good move from you. Now I just want to see you grow 2019. Drop more songs, drop more beats, uh, you know, get out there like you said out of your comfort zone. You're gonna kill you're gonna really kill it. Sure. You actually have the whole package, you know, like they say, make the beats, you know how to make them down, you know how to make them sound right, and then you got the vocals and you know how to get it done. Yeah, you know what I mean, so it's like and well, yeah, bro, if we, if we get you a camera yeah, if we get your camera I will I know you make something happen. Yeah, man, they can holler at me on IG, Frankie.a.r, you know what I'm saying? That's the only one there. Uh, RP my dog, Jack, you know what I'm yes, saying? Sir, facts. We're going to have and, a good, uh, good shot. Another thing, man, follow me on Twitter, the real Frankie AR. You know what I'm saying? Holla at us. I'm about to drop more. Um, I'll make sure I'm dropping more videos. Thanks. I got a couple of uh, people trying to work, make some short stories mm -hmm. and shit like mm -hmm. that. So. We could probably, you know, have some different things coming yeah. out. 
that's about it from what I'm saying now. Because he doesn't say it. It's going to get yeah, yeah, appreciated. Right and, uh, man. yeah, man. Appreciate you, bro, really. Appreciate but, um, you, bro. Uh, no, nah, real shit, man. Like, I want to... I got the first interview. Yes, sir. After the, after the tape, so that, that's dope. Thank you, sure. y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all holla at us. Yes, Hit up the boy Alex Soy. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, let's Everything. Go. My boy hopping hey. on beach now, too, so. Hey, hey. Y'all be hey I, got out, the fr- I got the first interview. You, you. I'm telling you. Y'all got to get this guy before he blows up, because this guy is working hard. It's over, guys. It's over.